Hi, Danny. Um, this is Rory Fennick, stunt arranger. Hello. Hi. And this is Chip Cobb, the actual stuntman. Chip Cobb, stuntman. Great. <laughs> Hi there, Chip. Uh, this is Brian French, the actor you're doubling. I don't need a ladder. And Belinda, my assistant. When we get down the set, I'll walk you through the shot, but basically it's a bar scene. There's a fight, an argument. We need you to swap with Brian when he gets hit over the head with a chair. Anything you need, go through it with Belinda. Go for the window. All right. <laughs> Find him on the roof. Cool. Yep. So, Chip, you run to the edge of the roof, there's a shot, you clutch your chest, and then you fall. Who do I shoot? No, you get shot. OK, right, yeah. No, uh, I'm not happy about this, Peter. Uh, the stunts are than we arranged. I've asked my bloke to deflate that bag, it's way too small. Need a larger bag in there. It's going to cost more money, but I've got to think about the safety. OK. Oh, right. Oh, well, it's lunchtime anyway, so... Sorry. So. OK. Your tip, uh, like, it's lunchtime now, so, um, could you stand down? Cos we need to replace the bag with a bigger bag. And, uh, go and check your makeup with Ruth. Shook myself off the roof? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go through the safety checks on the bike for later, right? Well, I used to watch it, but it's not as good as it used to be, is it? <laughs> so then, jumps the bike over the car, falls off, and hits his head on the false rock. Yeah? Yeah, that's about the size of it, yeah. Sweet. Are you happy with the position of the rock, mate? Yeah, it all seems to be hunky dory. Uh, obviously, I have to walk through it with Chip, you know, beforehand. Where is he? He's just behind us with Jamie. Oh, yeah. Chip, you want to talk through with Mike about the rock? Ride me back into the dock. <laughs> no. Right, that's all that set. Great. Is the stunt man ready? Yes, he's in position. <laughs> now, let me get this right so there's no more cock ups. Basically, my man just jumps through the van window. Yes. Super. Now the light's going. We've only got one shot at this. Oh, Danny. Um, yes, Jack. Uh, Design of ours for five minutes to readjust the wire with the washing on it. Sorry. All right, make sure it's five. Chip, take five. We need to reset the wire. Set myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you for that, Chip. Five past seven. <laughs> Cheese up. <laughs> right, Bruce. Now, the main body of the fight will take place here, but don't worry, it's all been carefully choreographed. Oh, there's no danger you coming to any harm. No, wouldn't want to damage the most valuable place in British cinema. Oh. <laughs> Great. Where's the stuntman? Oh, he's over there. Chip! Chip! Chip, look lively. Do you want to get into costume? Lunch at quarter past. Oh, bunch of shots, us. <laughs> to do this morning, we won't really be getting to the stunts till this afternoon. Guy, I'm going to need about four hours. Make it two. Uh, um, I've just seen Chip, the stuntman, arrive. What do you want me to do with him? Tell him to park his car and grab some breakfast. Yeah, we won't be needing him for a while. Actually, I'd better tell him. He's worse than ever at the moment. His hearing aid's been playing up. I keep telling him to get it fixed, but he can't hear me. <laughs> Call it, Chip. Turn the alarm off. Yes. Right, find yourself somewhere to park over there and then grab some breakfast. We'll give you a call when you're needed. Drive the car like a maniac, wreck <laughs> the motor and turn the production office into a fireball. <laughs> Let's rock, 